and represent the Sioux Falls Development Foundation. It's really the, the sponsor of these groundbreaking events. Thanks, Dave. Uh, throughout the community, um, these groundbreaking uh, events are great events to uh, show the growth of our community. So, uh, as you see, we have a, a bunch of speakers up here that want to help us with this celebration today. And uh, we're going to start off today with the uh, chair, current chair of the Sioux Falls Area Chamber of Commerce, Tim Sturdivant. Well, thank you, Jay, and uh, I am very honored to be here today representing the Chamber of Commerce, which, of course, is is uh, our mission as, long as, as well as the Development Foundation and uh, and uh, the city and the Presentation Sisters of working on the quality of life in Sioux Falls here. And this is a tremendous occasion. We thank you so much for your investment in this project and, and uh and with the whole of our campus here with your involvement is is tremendous and uh, i just want to thank everybody for coming out uh, i know it's a little bit toasty and hot here but as far as the chamber of commerce we are thrilled with this project and uh thank you very much on behalf of the chamber so now i'll i'll introduce the mayor mayor paul and that's why you don't wear a Jacket, all right. I'm in the car. I'm like, I'm not wearing a jacket. It's 90 degrees out there, but they do look nice. <laughs> Real good. Um, Noah, congratulations. This is a real honor to be here um, celebrating some growth for the presentation sisters and I think it, it must be a little bit humbling to look over at the campus and see what's happened uh, over the decades and uh, I got to see sister Mary Thomas at uh, a lot of city council meetings for a while she was sitting there <laughs> waiting to make sure we would get this thing done and we did um, yeah yeah we have one tonight at seven if you're bored so. <laughs> but um, one of the great things, I think even as we look at this house, and something that Avera has always been very good at, and now I see the, the sisters are being so, um, uh, I guess, loyal and smart with the investments that have been given to them, is they're move, you move in a lot of these houses, and we're repurposing these houses. And housing takes a lot of different shapes and forms. Uh, in this case, housing for the sisters. Uh, in this case, we're moving this house for another family to use. And so I appreciate your... Uh, uh, you know, the investment you've made in this lot, but also how you're using the resources you've been given uh, for housing uh, effectively. So congratulations. Uh, we were just talking about the uh, the size of the suites and how big the jacuzzi is going to be in each suite. <laughs> and they're going to be smaller, but they'll be pretty nice. Um, but on behalf of the city of Sioux Falls, we so appreciate the sisters and your continued commitment to health care and everything else in our city. And so thank you for uh, inviting us to be part of this big day today. Thank you, sisters. Now I'd like to introduce the president and CEO of Vera McKinnon Hospital and University Health Center, Dave Fleetcher. All right, first I want to welcome everyone, and I gotta say, sisters, you prayed extra hard today for the weather, I can tell you. <laughs> uh, but we are here to celebrate a group of strong and special women. Uh, the Presentation Sisters, along with the Benedictine Sisters, are the sponsors of Avera. And I'd like to first of all say a special welcome to all the sisters. If the sisters would raise their hands, that'd be great. Give us a clue. <laughs> watch you arm wrestle for the best corner room. Because <laughs> there's going to be a lot of nice rooms up there, I can tell you. Uh, there are a lot of Avera leaders. Uh, I know we have people like from Mitchell, Tom Clark, and uh, Jim Breckman, I just see back there, but the Avera leaders, Mick Gibbs, if you just raise your hands, welcome. And then Avera employees. So the folks from the Sioux Falls Development Foundation and the Chamber, thank you for coming today. But it all started in 1775. Nano Nago founded the Sisters of the Presentation of the Blessed Virgin Mary in Ireland. Nano is known for her ministry of educating the poor and caring for the sick and aged. A hundred years later, 
In 1880s, Bishop Martin Marty invited a group of Presentation Sisters to the newly established Dakota Territory on a mission to educate children. That didn't last very long because due to a diphtheria epidemic, they soon took to the Ministry of Health Care, as well as founding St. Luke's Hospital in Aberdeen and McKinnon Hospital here in Sioux Falls. So even after 130 years after the arrival at the Dakota, Dakota Territory, the two religious orders continue to serve our sponsors of Avera. So we're thankful for that. I will tell a story, though. Uh, Mar Marty uh, asked six sisters to come from Ireland, and they got on a ship. Uh, they landed on the East Coast. They were taught uh, to teach some lessons. I don't know if they trained. I'm sure a sister can correct the story, but they were trained or stagecoached to Yankton, got on a barge, went up to... Uh, actually, the barge uh, capsized, lost all their uh, material goods, put them all back together. And then uh, their first winter, they were in a sod house. Six of them in a sod house. Think about it. The American uh, Indians actually helped feed them to make that little seed from Ireland grow to what it is today. Uh, it's pretty amazing. We're going from a sod house to uh, today we break ground on the presentation center. Yes. So uh, we should clap about that. <laughs> which will serve as one of two residents for the Presentation Sisters, one in Aberdeen and one here in Sioux Falls, right on this ground, right here. In the past, Presentation Sisters have lived in their convent at Presentation Heights in Aberdeen and in several houses and apartments in Sioux Falls and communities where they serve. So I know around this area, they are actually have some apartments that some sisters stay in that will all come and move into one roof here soon. Uh, in order to continue their mission, they have expressed the desire to bring the sisters together into two residents that would downsize their overall space, uh, a result of a smaller carbon footprint, uh, and enhance the community life while being mindful to the health needs of their sisters. One of the sisters' core values is to do nothing alone, but to connect with others in furthering the gospel message. And it's a beautiful ministry that they have established here. It is our way to make home forever we find ourselves, so we know with God's help we will make good home here for ourselves and our neighbors. Through our lifetimes we care for one another in health and sickness, in youth and advancing age. We continually seek to build community that contributes to the growth of each person and the entire congregation. That's very true. Trusting what God is doing in this moment and into the future, we embrace the journey wherever it may lead us. I invite, oh, before I invite Sister Mary Thomas up, uh, what I'd like to do too is just uh, as, uh, on behalf of Vera McKenna and myself, I know the administrative team and the neighbors, we want to thank you to the, welcome you to the neighborhood. <laughs> so I think I'll turn it over to you, Jane. Is that Sister Janice. It says Sister Mary on mine, but I got an old one. So I would like to introduce Sister Janice Klein to say a few words. Sister Janice. So this is a wonderful occasion. We thank you so much for joining us here today. Uh, it's a special day for us, and your joining us makes it even more special. We really are grateful to Avera. Uh, you have blessed us with your support, with your expertise, and your experience in guiding this project. So we thank you so very much. Uh, and the support of Avera that's here today, it's great to see old friends back there. <laughs> Sharing in the mission of Jesus, the Presentation Sisters proclaim the good news with missionary zeal in a spirit of love and joy. We share a common spirit, mission, commitment to the poor, and dedication to building a just world for all. As apostolic women, the sisters say, where one sister is, we all are. 
as technology has advanced and the desire to age in place has become more feasible, the congregation has chosen to build for this new reality for two primary purposes, to enhance community life and to forward our mission to alleviate oppression and promote human dignity. That's our mission. As we remain committed to our life-giving ministries, like here in Sioux Falls, Comanando Juntos and Avera Health. Together, we look forward, we look ahead to what we're called to be about in the future. And we believe that this center will help us be able to carry our mission into that future. Presentation Center in Sioux Falls, that's what we're calling our new place, will have 20 rooms for sisters, including uh, guest rooms for sisters who have traveled to meetings and appointments or events. This two-story structure, which when it doesn't blow around, you'll see <laughs> if you want to come up and take a look, is comprised of 24,500 square feet. It will also, it also includes uh, room for dining space, group dining space, uh, sacred space, uh, space for offices, meetings, and for sisters or people who want to time for retreats. We as sisters hope to create a joyful and spirit-filled place of both contemplation and celebration of mission. A place that offers safety and a sense of home to individuals, yet at the same time offers interactive and creative space for community engagement in support of outreach and mission-driven activities. One in heart and mind for apostolic mission. Scripture teaches us to act justly, love tenderly, and walk humbly with our God. It is our way to make a home wherever we find ourselves. And so we know that with God's help, we will make a good home here for ourselves and for our neighbors. Through our lifetimes, we care for one another in health and sickness, in youth and advancing age. We continually seek to build a community that contributes to the growth of each person and the entire congregation. Trusting what God is doing in this moment and into the future, we embrace the journey wherever it may lead us. And so now Sister Mary, forward, Sister Mary Thomas will come forward to lead our prayer of blessing and dedication. Well, I've just been given a new name. There we go. So, and the president said it, so it must be true. If you have this copy, we will refer to this now. And most often we have our prayer at the beginning of an uh, event like this. We decided that this time we would pray closer to the actual groundbreaking. And so that's why we're doing this. So the first is a passage from the book of Isaiah. Widen the space of your tent. Stretch your tent curtains wide. Do not hold back. Lengthen your cords. Strengthen your stakes. During the winter of 1881, the sisters living in a sod house near Wheeler experienced great hardship. Chief Spotted Tail and his people widened the space of their understanding. They provided the sisters with venison, fish, and blankets during that long, cold, snowy winter. 
Their generosity enabled the sisters to survive and to gain a foothold on the Dakota Prairie and to eventually become established in Aberdeen, Dakota Territory. Please respond. We hold in gratitude the people native to Dakota and pray they will be blessed abundantly. In 1900, a diphtheria epidemic struck the area of Aberdeen. Whole families were stricken. The teaching sisters were asked to turn their school into a makeshift hospital and care for the ill. Those pioneering sisters stretched wide their tent to serve those most in need. At the urging of civic leaders, the sisters did not hold back and thus began their formal ministry of health care when St. Luke's was dedicated in 1901. We hold in gratitude those early sisters who were willing to be stretched into their new in the 1960s, Vatican Council II was called by Pope John XXIII. Bishops from across the world gathered in Rome. Religious congregations of sisters were asked to return to the original vision of their founding. In 1775, Nano Nagel, foundress of the Presentation Sisters, had an intense desire to be of service across the globe. Vatican II called congregations to send sisters into mission territory. The Aberdeen congregation lengthened its cords by sending sisters to Mexico, Central America, and Zambia, Africa. We hold gratitude those sisters who were willing to enter humbly into another culture with respect, the desire to be neighbor, and simply to serve. Today, the sisters continue to strengthen their relationships as ministries begun continue to thrive and meet emerging needs of the day. Many women and men who embrace similar values and a vision to bring fullness of life to others stand shoulder to shoulder with the sisters in their desire to be neighbor and to serve in the name of Jesus Christ. We hold in gratitude the many people who have graciously and generously forwarded which is the light of Christ. We entrust the future expression of this ministry, which Nano began, into their capable hands and loving hearts. And now on the back page, I would invite the sisters to pray this prayer together. Loving and compassionate God, look with favor upon us, your servants, at this new beginning. Please bless this project with your guiding hand. Guide and protect the designers and the workers as they use their God-given talents toward a worthy goal. We ask for your blessing upon the sisters who will live and gather here. We pray for wisdom and direction as we continue the ministries entrusted to our order. May Presentation Center a sacred place of mission and joyful communion with you and one another and all who enter here. May our presence here honor the legacy of Nano Nagel as well as the legacy of the Presentation Sisters who have gone before us in South Dakota. Thank you for the generous hearts of many who are supportive of our mission and ministry. In Christ's holy name we pray. Amen. Now before we break ground, I want to make sure I thank everybody for uh, coming today and uh, all the pre presenters up here today enjoying this beautiful day. And we invite everybody to the reception afterwards in the tent here cookies, water, etc. So, um, and then before we uh, do break ground here, I've got a little presentation. If Sister Janice will come up. <laughs> and that's real gold. <laughs> uh, on behalf of the Development Foundation, um, we're providing this uh, shovel to mark this day, inscribed with today's date, so in celebration of this wonderful day. So, congratulations.
So let's go throw some dirt now. Jason. <laughs> 